Clerks was the 1994 black and white indie darling that could. The original Clerks was the film that would inspire a generation of filmmakers and enthusiasts who weren't even supposed to be here today to find an artistic voice and creative freedom. Fast forward 28 years and a Widowmaker heart attack later, filmmaker Kevin Smith decided it was time to dust off the box containing his quick stop cohorts Dante and Randall and take them on an unexpectedly sentimental and nostalgic ride. One that is likely to be the gang's final visit to the quick stop. With a current Rotten Tomatoes critic score of 66% and an audience score of 96%, should Smith continue to assure you we're open or hang up the closed sign on the quick stop for good? Find out the answer to that question on this all new episode of Matt and a Matinee. Welcome everyone to another episode of Matt and Matinee. It's been a long time since I've done one of these and there was just one movie that came out that I felt like needed my voice, needed my opinion, needed to pull me out of the retirement of the movie review business and that is Clerks 3. Now if you're the first time listener or viewer to this or returning or viewing listener, welcome in. I appreciate you for stopping by to check out my review of Clerks 3. I am a massive Kevin Smith fan. I don't think that there's any way for me to hide that as you can see behind me or my get up but i feel like i'm able to give this movie a fair and honest review from my point of view and what i thought of the movie after two showings of it i wanted to make sure i saw it twice before reviewing it just to make sure that i felt like i could give it a fair and unbiased opinion um here and not let my my fanboyism for kevin smith affect uh, the review because when I first initially saw it I was like it's a 10 it's a 10 it's a 10 but then again after the second seeing I, I think my excitement kind of dwindled a little bit and I was able to come down to reality and reach a fair final score for this movie so without further ado let's kick it off and get into my review of Clerks 3. Clerks 3, written and directed by Kevin Smith, once again pulls up the shutters on the quick stop, allowing us to catch up on the lives of Dante, played by Brian Holleran, and Randall, played by Jeff Anderson. Smith offers a glimpse of what our favorite clerks have been up to since we last left the quick stop in Clerks 2. Other than the number of trips around the sun, it would appear not much has changed for our dynamic duo of commerce as we find them still up to their old tricks. Whether it's closing the store to play roller hockey on the roof, or debating pop culture references, movies, and religion. Just as we think we're being treated to a look at the progression of the relationship between Dante, Randall, Elias, played by Trevor Furman, and his new sidekick, Blockchain Coltrane, played by Austin Zahar, things take a rather dark turn when Randall suffers a near-death heart attack. The heart attack prompts Randall to take stock in his life as he finds himself looking for a sense of purpose. With the suggestion and support from his best friend, Dante, Randall decides to make a movie about their lives and the trials and tribulations behind the counters of the Quick Stop and RSD video, respectively. We watch as the cast recreates moments from the 1994 film complete with original actors as if we had been watching them all along through the lens of a quick stop security camera. It's one of the most charming things about this movie. It comes off less like Smith is telling the same story and more like he's exploring the glory days of his youth and showing the audience how rewarding chasing his passion was. In order to make Randall's movie, the duo has to dig into the past, forcing Dante to reunite with former loves Veronica, played by Marilyn Gigliotti, as well as former fiance Emma, played by Jennifer Schwarbach Smith, and forcing the status of his current relationship with his wife Becky, played by Rosario Dawson, and his daughter Grace. Clerks 3 sends a message about making the most out of your lives in the remaining time we have. I'd be lying if I didn't admit my own appreciation for Smith and his work. Clerks was the movie that got me interested in the film when I was younger, and his work continues to inspire me to be the best mediocre podcaster I can be. The comedy throughout the film is creatively placed to relieve the heaviness of the underlying situation. Clerks 3 is nothing if not a story about two men facing mortality in very different ways. Clerks 3 is a mixed bag of emotions that somehow simultaneously pulls from nostalgia and tragedy at the same time, allowing it to stand alone and flourish in a franchise that by all accounts had no business having a second, let alone third, installment. Clerks 3 was clearly Kevin Smith's love letter to not only his time at the quick stop, these characters or the customers he draws inspiration from, but also the fans that were willing to walk through the doors of the quick stop with him one last time. I give Clerks 3 an 8.5 out of 10. 